Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is Neelam and this video is day 4's workout of our full week of toning and fat loss series. In today's workout, we are going to target arm muscles. Those are biceps and triceps and burn some good amount of calories so that we can transform those flabby and not so good looking arms into toned and beautiful arms. So if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and do not miss out on other workouts of this series. All the links are in the description of this video. This workout includes warm up, cool down and 4 main superset. Each superset has 3 exercises and 3 sets. Means you have to perform 1 superset for 3 times. So let's get started. Welcome to the voiceover. So the first exercise of warm up is alternative arm swing. For this you have to stand with your chest out and stomach in and start swinging your arms alternatively up and down. After this we have arm circles. So for this also you have to stand with shoulder width distance between your feet and make some circles with your arm in one direction. After certain number of reps switch side and perform the same exercise in opposite direction. Next up is a pike to cobra pose. For this you have to come to a pike position with nicely keep your heel planted and from there you go to a cobra pose but remember not to arch too much so keep your core engaged throughout these two movements. Next up is arm raise and jack. For this you have to raise your arms in front and then perform one jack. Keep your chest out, stomach tight and always land on your forefoot. Keep a soft bend in your knee. Next up is arm rotation and windmill. For this you have to rotate your body to one side, keep your arms parallel to the floor and aim your opposite foot with your opposite hand. Keep your core fully engaged. And with this we are all done with the warm up. Now we will start the first superset. So the first exercise of first superset is a tricep dips. For this you have to find out a chair of this much height and just sit on it, place your hand exactly beside your hips and slide forward and start dipping. You have to make sure that your body is vertical throughout the dip movement and when you are up as well. So while performing certain number of reps, switch your exercise to seated bent leg push down. For this you have to sit down on floor and place your hands again right beside your hips and from there you just simply extend your elbow and keep your hip off the floor. Remember not to keep your hands too much behind your hips just keep them right beside your hips and fully extend your elbow keep your hips off the floor and pause there in lifted position and then slowly gently drop and then go for your next rep. Then switch your exercise to knee push up hold for this you have to come in a knee push up position place your hand exactly under your shoulder and come in the middle part of this mid range of this knee push up and just be right there here i would like to mention that i am not supporting my head to the seat next to me so keep yourself in the air throughout this moment just for 20 seconds and then that's it the first exercise of second superset is a band overhead tricep extension for this you have to stand up on your band like this and hold your band with a reverse grip like this and just pull it as much as you can as much as you can when you can't pull more just there is your starting position and from there keep your arms vertical in line with your ears not far away from your face and from there you just extend your elbows and pause there for a second and then bend down once you are done then switch your exercise to dumbbell overhead extension you need one dumbbell for this exercise so keep your body fully stable your chest out and stomach in and shoulder width distance between your feet and from there just hold your dumbbell overhead and if you cannot uh, just uh, maintain your arm vertical then support like this with your other hand so that your arm does not go away from your face once you are done with a certain number of reps then switch side to perform the same number of reps to the other side after this third exercise of this superset is skull crusher for this you have to Hold your arms parallel to each other and slightly deviated towards your face. Remember not to keep your arms vertical here. Slightly deviate your arms towards your face and just stabilize them over there. Now from there you have to flex and extend your elbow. Go for full extension and pause for a second and then you go for your next rep. 
and then comes your third superset so first exercise of third superset is in and out dumbbell plank tap for this you have to place your dumbbells like this uh, at shoulder width distance and you have to come in a high plank position make sure that in a high plank position your palms are exactly under your shoulder and your rest of your body makes a straight line do not stick your butt a lot out and do not arch your back and after this you have to just one time tap inside with your dumbbell and one time outside this is your exercise once you are done with this your next exercise is bicep curl for this you have to stand tall upright you with your chest out and your stomach in and keep your palm facing forward hold your dumbbells and from there in front of your thigh is your starting position so start your movement right in front of your thighs don't go all the way back do not uh, hyper extend your elbows so maintain that 10 degree flexion for your starting position and from there you have to curl up completely and slow release is recommended yes release your dumbbell very slowly down so control the negative part of the movement and then switch your exercise to 90 degree isometric hold of your bicep curl so simply you have to hold this curl in the mid position and then comes your fourth superset so the first exercise of our fourth superset is a hammer curls for this you have to hold your dumbbell with your palm facing each other and again with 10 degree flexion that is your starting position so not full extension is your starting position so just stop right in front of your thigh and start your next rep right from there and always slow negative you have to perform means when you are taking your dumbbell downwards you have to go slow after that you have to switch your exercise to in and out rotation for this you have to hold your dumbbell in 90 degree flexion and from there simply externally rotate your arm means take your dumbbell outside and bring them inside and then switch your exercise to 90 degree hammer curl hold means you simply have to hold a hammer curl in 90 degree elbow flexion and with this we are all done with our workout so let's perform some cool down stretches so your first stretch is a tricep stretch so sit in vajrasana like this keep your body upright your chest out and stomach in and place your one hand over your upper back like this and pull that elbow with the other hand towards your head remember to keep your body upright and straight hold it for 30 seconds and then switch side your next stretch is a modified upward dog for this you have to place your hand slightly differently from the traditional upward dog so point your fingers towards yourself and from here uh, come in a knee plank position put your knee down and keep your body in a line and just hold it make sure that your hand placement is exactly under your shoulder so that your arm is 90 degree from the floor for your next stretch you have to latch your fingers like this and turn your palms towards forward first and then put them down like this and uh, simply shift your knee slightly backward slightly not much and just hold this stretch then comes your next stretch which is back bend in a kneeling position for this you have to come in a kneeling position make sure that your thigh is perpendicular to the floor and from there you simply have to raise your hands keep your palm facing each other and go towards a back bend and hold it for 30 seconds and after this you have to switch this pose to a puppy pose for this just simply extend your arms and slide down forward while keeping your thighs still perpendicular to the floor and put your chin down for this and look forward so with this stretch we are all done with the workout i hope you enjoyed it if yes then please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming workouts of this series thank you so much for watching see you